what's going on guys welcome back to ky coins and collectibles and this is part two of my massive coin hoard that i purchased and uh, i'll link the first video up here in the corner for you if you want to go back and watch it uh, but i'll give you a little bit of a recap uh, this is another part of that collection that I had purchased off of the a longtime gentleman friend that had passed away uh, and I kind of tell you a little more about them in that first video so if you want to go back and watch it uh, I don't really want to I don't want to waste your all's time and I kind of want to talk more coins today but long story short uh, this gentleman had passed away we'd been friends for a long time and I was able to pick up his collection and I've had two videos now but the first one uh, video I done a while back and I'll, I'll post it up here uh, it was mainly Morgan's and uh, the and that's really all I bought the first go around because that was a, a pretty good chunk of money to purchase uh, over a thousand dollars worth of Morgan's so purchase those first and then come back four or five months later had money saved up to buy the to try to buy another big portion of it so i mean this this has been a big purchase a big purchase as you can see i mean what i've got here is, is quite a bit of silver and uh, this gentleman loved 90 percent constitutional silver he uh, was a coin a coin guy silver guy uh and uh, just kind of loved anything coin and old and collectible so he, he was pretty cool um, so what I've got here is a lot it's pretty much all the uh, halves as you can see and you can off camera here I've got four boxes right here that you can see these are all halves and they are like 14 there's like 14 here 14 there and there's like three rows these are penny boxes and i don't know if i can show you without dumping them out but it's a it's a box that you would purchase from the bank that would have pennies in it uh, and they're full and they're very heavy and it's like weighing my table down uh, and what he has done is he's just filled them up he's put years on them and it's it's crazy what he's done I mean he's took a lot of time he spent a lot of time uh, time and effort and money on this collection so I mean I've, I'm trying to do it justice and and I did pay quite a bit for this collection and uh, I hope you all don't think that I've, I've taken advantage of these people because they've, they've been good friends and family uh, friends and kind of family of mine and they wanted me to have the collection and and I gave them a really good deal and and kind of what I done and I mentioned before was I just got one big price went through it and it, it took like four to five hours i don't even remember it was i think i got there at six and i didn't leave till like nine o'clock uh, and i was just sorting going through and doing the best i can uh, and what i done is i kind of just took an average i went through now this this is a combination of everything it's a uh, combination of Kennedy's and as you can see like he's labeled everything Kennedy's Franklin's uh, there's Walker's he, he'll have like WL for walking Liberty so what I done got on eBay looked at all the sold items basically got on there and uh, looked up a row of uh, Walker's 20 of them and I didn't I didn't count them I mean, I went through a couple, I opened a couple of them to make sure, and there there was 20, 
the ones I counted there was 20 in each thing so uh, that's what I went by because for me to take all these apart it, I mean I'd still be doing it uh, so I took them I took a few out make sure there was 20 in each of them there was so pretty much assumed the rest of them were the same uh, and I, I got on eBay looked up sold items looked up sold Kennedy's 20 of them and seen they were selling between 190 to 230 uh, for 20 of them and done the same thing for the Franklins and the Walkers and they were pretty much all of them right now on eBay are selling between $190 to 230 240 depending on condition and that's kind of the range for all of them I mean that's I just looked again and that's still kind of where they are uh, and it's uh, March or April uh, April 8th today and it's actually 11 o'clock 11 18 at night so I'm up late doing this uh, trying to get more stuff sorted because every night I've been up late had a long day and this is what I'm doing that night now trying to sort stuff um, <clears throat> so this is amazing this collection is just amazing I have so much sorting to do uh, and what I'm going to do and like I, I was me get back I'm kind of all over the place so I'm sorry uh, figuring up a price I told you I went on eBay figured up an average and basically was like here's what they're selling for if if I'm going to sell on eBay I'll get this much minus my fees uh, and minus depending on if you add shipping because if you're selling on eBay it's not that fun they take a portion they take 12% or whatever it is and then if you got to charge shipping and handling then you've got to drive it to the post office I mean it, it does take your time I mean it's your time effort and energy and there's a lot of fees included and then if you sell so much I mean you you're gonna have to pay taxes on it at the end of the year so you do have to calculate all that stuff you can't you you can't pay something and then take a loss on it and uh, so I, I do factor all that stuff into it and I know if you all have ever sold anything you know what it's like and and if you haven't there's a lot to it so and I know what my local coin shops are paying uh, the the pawn we got pawn shops and uh, just one or two coin shops around here in eastern Kentucky where I live so there's not a big uh, market where I live and uh, I mean I can go to a flea market and put one or two silver dollars out and and there'll be one person walk by and saying oh I'll, my papa had one I want to buy one and they'll basically give you whatever you want I mean if they want it they'll give you 50 60 dollars for a uh, Morgan I mean but that's that's not that's not normal but if you're trying to sell to a coin shop or a pawn shop you basically you're going to get a few four or five dollars for uh, a Benjamin and if you take it to uh, uh, if you sell it on eBay you get seven eight dollars nine dollars and then you've got to pay fees on top of that okay so how much money do you need to have invested in that coin so that's, that's stuff I try to f uh, factor in and, and I live in an area where I can't just go out and sell all this stuff pretty fast I will probably and I'm I am a collector I'm not a, a seller I do collect this stuff but I will sell a lot of it uh, because I mean at the end of the day I've got a lot of money tied up in this and I will get all the stuff I like out of it and then the lot a lot of it I will have to move to replenish my 
my money, my cash that I've spent on this. So I can't, I don't really want to hold up my money forever in this. I want to get some back so I can purchase other collections on down the road. Um, but the Morgans, I'll probably hold on to them for a while. I, I just really enjoy those. I'm a collector of Morgans. A lot of this I'll keep, but a lot of it I'll sell. So I've got to factor in when I'm buying this stuff what it's going to cost me to sell it. And and like I said, I live in eastern Kentucky, and there's not a big market for this stuff at all. I mean, you have to set up at flea markets. you got to set up at the court days. There's a big court days here uh, where I live. Uh, uh, there's a few people that set up there and they do pretty good uh, but that's once a year uh, there's pawn shops but y'all know how pawn shops pawn shops do I don't even have to tell you so I just have to factor that stuff in I don't I don't want people thinking that I've, I've, I've ripped people off uh, I just have to be realistic some of y'all are in uh, uh, different markets across the the US and I've noticed people can get more uh, more premium for their a little more premium for their coin because it's a it's a tighter market. It's not here. I mean, we don't have we don't have a lot of people buying, selling, and trading. It's they're just not. I know I know a lot of people that I deal with in this area. We're the only people that collect coins. I only know maybe eight people in five or six counties that collect coins and there's not a coin shop in my uh, county nor the county surrounding me there's no coin shops they're all pawn shops or just that's pretty much it I have to drive 45 minutes at least to the closest coin shop so if that tells you something right there. So with that said, I've I've paid pretty good for this what I could. Uh, they were happy, I were ha I was happy, uh, so it worked out. So en enough with that. I want to dive into this and kind of show you what I've got. And uh, I mean, I am just mind blown with how he collected and what he had um uh, and uh and i've got a lot of going a lot of searching and going through and i it's really like overwhelming to be honest like this is amazing to look at but it also gives me anxiety but in in so much joy because i know it's going to take me forever to go through all this uh and, and luckily for me, and I've gone through a bunch of these, uh, he does have them dated. So 1942, I already know. I mean, I'm, al I'm already thinking these are uh, 42 walkers. And I open one up, and they all are walkers. And I did open some the other day. And this one actually says 71 new 1971 I don't know if that's a D or a weird looking P and he's got keep on it so they look newer but see I mean I had I had priced in probably that being silver and there it is it's not but it's it's like that and I kind of I price in for a margin of error because like I said some of these might not have 20 in them some of them might have more uh, so what we'll do and some I've gone through a couple of these already and, and some of them are in better condition some of them are slick that one's just not too bad uh, 42 it's got a little bit of luster left on it. 42, 42. 
these look like they all are 42 and I've I've only come across a few I've only come across a few that are in the lower uh, they've got pretty good details I mean some of them ain't bad um, like I was saying, I've only come across a few of these rows that have uh, coins from the earlier, like, 17s. I think I did find a, uh, a couple uh, 1920s, uh, some better date ones. So, let's see if I can get these back in there without making a mess. But yeah, I'll have to go through those. I know there's some uh, uh, double dies I was going to look for. Uh, some more walkers. Let's look for uh, Benji's 63D, uh, 68. See, these are these are Kennedys. He's got clad on that, but 1968 was a 40%ers. So, well, yeah, it's 40% silver and the rest clad, I guess. So, yep, there's some 40%ers. Here's some Benjis. He's got a bunch of different numbers marked out on that, so let's see what we got. Here's some 1940s, 40S. Looked like he had wrote, and I've not come across any barbers. No barber halves. I think I've only found two, and that's kind of surprising. I figured out, out of all these, there would be uh, for books 71. I think these are 36. I've just seen this said four books, so maybe. Uh, his albums. Let's check that out. See, I don't, I, this is really the first time I'm going through these, so let's see what we got. I've seen a 30, 36, uh, 43, 46, 46, 39. There's some. 69 there's some this is kind of a mixture and there's 57 I've not seen any a roll of the 55 Benjis Let's see. 35 36 63s 59. That one's wore out. 34, I believe. 34, 34. That might be a 28. I've got my book here because I'm not, I know some of the key dates, like uh, the earlier ones, like the 16s, 17s, and 21s. And I've been looking for those. I did find, I believe, some 20s. I did see some 20s and 17s, but they were the reverse mint mark, the cheaper ones. But he did have some obverse mint marks in the, the first time I bought the collection. When I bought the Morgans, I did buy a couple uh, flips. He had a couple uh, little... Uh, boxes with some flips in them and they had some better dates in them and that did have a couple 21 obverse or 17 uh, mint marks with the they were sorry 1917 with the obverse mint marks uh, but like this one you can tell there's a clad and here's another clad well, that one's actually silver. It just looked clad. Yep. So there's a, a 69 and a 64 Kennedy, and there's some Benjis in here too. So that's that's pretty neat. 
I'm really excited to start through this stuff and I'm just going to sort it by year and I may do a video uh, there's a couple guys I watch on YouTube they they'll do searches and they'll uh, kind of just stack it out by year mint mark and this would be really good to do and honestly I really just don't have enough time to do that and put a a big video to get together I may just right now I don't have enough time and I'm going to throw this is a 63 in there but I just don't have enough time right now to do it and I know I believe it's the 46 the walker uh, the 46 has a double die and I think I have seen a bunch of rolls in here that are 46's so I'm hoping out of all these I can find a double die uh, I believe it is a reverse 42's a lot of 42's and 50's like any, everything in the 50's uh, take a few out of these and like as you can see they they are that deep uh, and there's a silver dime in here so I'm hoping hoping I can come across something good but I mean overall this is just amazing there's no dates on this one but it says uh, Ben Franklin. This is a lot of silver. These look like all 63, 62, 57, 54. And I've got a look. I've seen a couple 54s. I've not really seen any 55s, which I think that's one of the key dates for the Benjamins, Benjis. So I'll put these to the side. Now. I'll put those back in there later. So I've got to look for those. Uh, 43s. There's some more Benjis. So I've got a lot, a lot of looking, looking through to do. Walkers, Benjis. There's some 74s. So I'll say there's more clad 1974 more Kennedys so a lot of Kennedys these majority 42s and some of them have like there's five 54s uh, Phillies eight 54 uh, Denver's and 57 there's seven Phillies so at least he's kind of got them marked uh, so that helps and I have gone through them and some of them not be all what he's wrote on there so here this is looks like a good one it's uh, 1918 Walking Liberties so this is some earlier this is probably one of the earliest ones I've seen and I just now fi found it and he's wrote keep on it so let's check this one out and I believe, let's look at the book, the 18s. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing really low from the 18s. Uh, in better condition, they jump on the uh, Denver's. So that's good. Uh, but the, I wish I could find some of the 17s or 16s, but I've not found any of the 16s or the 21s so they're they're a little more rare and I mean rare coins are rare coin 
Okay, so this one's even got, it looks like a Canadian half in it. Okay, so let's see, that's a 43, 42, 43, 47, and here is Hong Kong, 1960, $1. So that was in there. 43. See, so somebody may have gone through these already. I don't know. They said they have it, and that one you can tell it's been taped. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but there it looks like somebody's had that taped in an old album. Uh, a 35. Thirty-five, forty-three. Not seeing any 18s in here. Forty-one, forty-one, thirty-four. That one's pretty nice. It's a sixty-three. It's got a little bit. And here's a sixty-four Kennedy. And a cleaned 51 Benji, a 61, and a Canadian half dollar, 1965. So that's pretty neat. Two foreign coins in there. They look, I'm sure that's silver. And that one looks, it sounds kind of silver too. I'm sure it is being from the 60s. Hong Kong. I'm not sure on those. I mean, I know the Canadian is. You can tell by looking at it. And that's pretty nice. 1965, 50 cents. That's really cool. Check out the artwork on that. And it's got some good luster on it, too. So, I'm going to set those to the side. But, you see, out of that whole, I don't know if somebody's gone through that. But it says 1918 keep, and they're most of them are like in the 40s and two foreign, so don't know about that. And I'm just gonna set those over to the side and go through them later. Uh, I'll try to bring another one out real fast. This one's got 1963 Benjis and Walker. Dig down in the bottom. 43. Here's one. It says 1917. Let's see how that one looks. 64. I'm trying to show you all some good stuff. And I've not looked through, like I said, each of these. There's 43s. So, 1917. Let's see what he, see what he's got in this one. It's like Christmas. Okay, these are a little okay. So these are 17s. I seen a. There's a 20. And it's a Philly. So I think the 20s. The better ones are the the Denver in the San Francisco so the 1920 Philly uh, a little more common uh, and this is pretty war uh, here's our first 17 1917 and I believe it's just a Philly as well which it's pretty common as well 12 million a little over 12 million made 17 Philly, 17, 17, and I didn't notice, uh, so the 17s, they made a mint mark on the reverse on the front, and then they made one on the obverse, uh, 
or the the reverse on the side and the obverse right here under in God we trust so look in the the one with the reverse is not really as like it's not as sought after as the one with it on the uh, obverse so the obverse one is the one kind of everybody wants and like I said it'll be right here under in God we trust and the reverse will be over here to the left under the little the branch so uh, 17 there's a 20 when it's a filly here's another 17 no mint mark filly this one's That one's kind of wore out. Kind of looks like a 48, but it's not a 48 because it didn't go that high. Benji's went started in 48. Uh, it might be a 5. It's hard to tell. I have to put that one under the scope. Uh, The same on this one. Yeah, that one's wore out. Can barely make out a seven on the end. And that one's slick. I have to. That one looks like a 45. A lot of these are really wore. I can make out a three on that one. Here's an 18. And it's a Philly. Can't really tell on that one. I'm just trying to go through these kind of fast. Uh, there's an 8 on the end of that one. And I believe the 38... Um, the 38 Denver's or a better date too. That's a S. A 1918 Philly, 1920 Philly, uh, 1918 Denver. So that's a little better. That's a little better year. Three little uh, 3.8 million made. A little better date. And a 1918. Can't really tell. It might be a mint mark on that one. And the last one is a 34. San Francisco. So, some better dates than that. Some earlier dates. Uh, but that's really the only ones I've seen. There's been two row there, two rows with supposedly earlier dates and this was the only one that really had any earlier dates in it nothing really key dates just some of the 17 and 18 fillies uh, so some decent stuff in that uh, and over here I'm gonna so this is pretty much what you see is is what it is and I've got a bunch to go through, 44s. And I've not found any really uncirculated. Uh, I'll look over here real fast. Kennedy Mix, 64s. Here's an old bank, Unk. So this is, this one's pretty nice. 1968 Unk Keep. So these are... 68s and that's a 68 and this one says Cincinnati Branch Federal Bank of Cleveland so this looks like an original bank row so that's that's pretty cool right there these old uncirculated uh, bank rows are pretty cool I don't know if he's had them out this end looks pretty messed up but that one kind of looks like a ender 
with a little toning around the side so maybe that one's really neat um, and uh, that 44 let's see what we got I'm just trying to go through 52s 45s 46 43 walkers he's got keep on that one 42 64 Kennedys a lot of these are Kennedys uh, 42 45 don't have nothing there's nothing on that one so let's see what we got 64 Kennedys so a lot of them are Kennedys clad 67 that was about to bust I have to tape that 63's Kennedy's Benji's 64's 42's so that's that's pretty much all they are a lot of most of them are in the 40's and 50's I've not seen anything crazy uh, but still there's a it's mostly volume here I mean you've got good dates uh, but there's really no key dates you just got your your later 40s mid 40s to 52 to 64 that's all there is um, I don't know about condition you've seen most of them most of them I mean they look like that there's some there's some life left on them good album fillers uh, everybody's always trying to fill a, a Walker album up so that's good uh, Kennedy's but over here also he had some of these tubes filled which there's about a box and they're they're little of everything he's got there's a, a tube of 64's I think there's some clad in there too them top ones look like clad yep so a mixture uh, of Kennedy's and here's a of 60 65 and these look they're 64 64 so these look like 64's and he's got BU brilliant uncirculated so there's a whole row of 64's uh, and there's a, probably uh, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 there's probably 14 of these tubes over here and they're mismatched like there's some walkers in some of them and also over here are wheat pennies so he did have uh, their boxes like this now we'll try to move some of this out of the way so this is going to be fun as well so this is what I love and uh, it's when it, whenever I get time to go through them this is what I'm really going to enjoy which these look like old bank rows and this one actually is 1970 and they look they're they're tight I mean that is a tight road uh, wrap right there and here these are the same way I mean I don't think that says 1974 so these are just going to be a lot of this is face value but a lot of these are wheat pennies and I just went through and tried to see what was face value and what was actual wheat pennies and that's that's the stuff that takes forever because you're you don't want to pay more than face value if it's a I mean this row of uncirculated uh, 50 cent pennies there from 1970 I mean it's it's pretty much face value 
Um, and this one, he's got wheat. This one, he's got buffalo on. And they're kind of scattered in here. A lot of them say wheat. And a lot of them are in the 60s. And it's just kind of all over the place. Wheat pennies on that one. Uh, got two tubes here of wheat pennies. There's actually one Indian head, I think, on this one. It is a 1901. It looks nice, but I think it's been cleaned. So, a lot of this stuff I've not gone through. And uh, these are going to be so much fun to go through. These are buffaloes. Let's open up a buffalo. I've not look through these at all and they all look like buffalo there's a couple dark ones in here I'll dig those out that one's hard to see hard dates on these there's a 26 so a lot of the earlier dates in the buffaloes are better dates. There's a 1920. And I actually need, I still need a buffalo nickel to complete my set. And I need the 1913 uh, top, I believe it's the top two, uh, San Francisco. I believe that's it. The, one of the harder ones to find, of course. Um, let me make sure I'm telling you right. Yeah. Get my trusty, handy dandy red book out here. Yeah, the 1913S. Uh, variety two. So that's the only one I need to complete my buffalo set. And these earlier dates in the buffalo, they're they're hard to find. I mean, I've got a bag, a small bag of buffaloes, and they're all like 1930s. Like there's a few 20s in there, but once you get below like like 27, 26, like 19, 26, they get harder to find. Uh, so, I mean, out of the collections I've, I've bought, like most of them are in the 30s. There's not a lot of 20s, but it looks like in this one there is some 20s. Uh, a lot of these are 20s. Uh, no date. And you got to look for that three-legged buffalo, too. Some of these I'll have to just look at closer. No dates. These buffaloes, a lot of them, the date, like, I mean, they're just completely gone. I mean, it's still a, a lot of, a lot of buffaloes to go through. And they all look pretty slick. That one's really slick. So if I see anything, yeah, they're all pretty slick. So I have to, I'm dropping them all over the place. So I have to go through all those. Um, but that's the the fun part of it. I like just going through everything, um, going through the pennies, and I open one of these pennies up for you too. So this was the one that had the Indian head, and there may be a couple Indian heads in here. Looking at the side of them, because they look a little different. But they all a lot of them look like wheat pennies. I know y'all love a good search video, so let's see what we can find here. Uh, 
forties. Fifties. And they're all dark. There's a that might be a thirty one. So let's see. Almost there. Okay. So there's a, I think this is the regular 31, of course. Uh, 19 million. The 31S is one of the key dates. Uh, and the, the G4 in the book is $75. So, yeah, there's a regular 31. A Philly. The 50s. It's running away from me. Uh, 1919S. So there are some lower dates. There's a lot of those 1919S is made. Um, that was one of the big years. 1919S, there was 139 million. Regular 1919 was 392 million. So you'll find a lot of those 1919s. And I've got a bunch. For the longest time, I would coin roll hunt wheat pennies. 36S. And I know the lower, the earlier years, that S mint mark, San Francisco mint marks, are a lot better. Um, like your 15S and your. 12s, 11s, 16s is a little better. Uh, then once you start getting up into your later years, the San Francisco's aren't as much. 26s is pretty good. Then the 31s, but all your earlier at San Francisco mints are, are a lot better. 47s, 35. Uh, 51, 47, 47. So I actually didn't look like there was any more buffaloes in there, or uh, Indian heads. 53, 1919s, 40s. 47, there's a steel in 1943. There's another steel, 1943. And if you can find a 1943 copper or a 1944 steel, you've found a pretty good coin. So you always got to look out for those. 44. 51. Here's got this one's got a little bit of luster left on it. Well, it should. It's a 74. <laughs> it tricked me. It tricked me. Let's see. But uh, 74 D, I believe. So we'll put that one to the side. But yeah, most of them. I mean, they're just common. Nothing special, but that's the fun of it, is looking through everything, trying to find the key dates. Got a lot to go through. Try to shove all these back down in there real fast. But you, know, you never know. There's, there's key dates out there still yet to be found and uh, different errors and varieties and that's what I really enjoy is just going through them and looking. I know a lot of y'all do too. I mean I watch so many videos of people coin roll hunting or 
buying collections and coming across that 1877 Indian head key date. And you know what? It's pretty amazing when you do. So much fun. That's why we do it. And like I said earlier, I'm, I'm a collector at heart. So they say it's hard to be a collector and a, a dealer or a seller. But at some point, collectors collect this stuff to sell one day. I mean, we have to be a, a seller at one day or... If not, I mean, you may not. We, I mean, like this gentleman, you you die with it, and then your your kids sell it. So hopefully, I get to sell it and enjoy it. Uh, I, I do wish you think about it as when you're buying stuff like this. You're like, well, this this port this gentleman, he uh, he collected his whole life, and he never got the joy of selling it and getting the money from it but this is what he enjoyed he enjoyed go going through his coins that's what brought him joy instead of the money that he could have sold it for so a lot of people say well why don't you sell it and then en enjoy it well I enjoy this I don't enjoy selling I enjoy coming out here and counting my coins and looking through them and trying to find key dates. So he did enjoy them, and uh, that's all that matters is enjoying it. Uh, but I mean, you do you, you do need to sell them and make some money. We've we've got bills to pay. I mean, we all do. So at some point, you do want to sell them uh, and enjoy the benefit from it. Silver's been going up this past week quite a bit, gold and silver. So hopefully it keeps on going up and you can hold on to it or you can sell it. A lot of people are selling, a lot of people are buying. Uh, I've heard a lot of people going out and just buying a lot. I mean, it's at all-time highs and people are going out and buying. So, uh, And that's up to you. I mean, I hope silver goes to a hundred dollars or gold goes to four thousand or above i mean i hope it goes up and uh, i mean i'm i enjoy it so i'm going to keep buying if it goes up or if it goes down i'm i'm buying so because i believe in it i like it it brings me joy and it's what i like to do so it is what it is a lot of people buy other stuff they enjoy they buy they go fishing, buy fishing boats. They buy golf clubs. Well, that's okay. I'm glad you enjoy it. I enjoy this. Uh, hopefully, here in a couple of years, you can sell your golf clubs and make money off of them. So, I did have a boat one time, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what a guy told me about a boat. I know we're totally off the subject, but he said uh, the best two days of his life was when he bought his boat as and when he sold it and i was the same way i loved it when i bought it and i loved it when i sold it so but they i did enjoy the boat it brought me and my family a lot of fun but this this brings me a lot of joy uh and I'm going to have a, so much excitement going through all this. Like, I'm so excited. And it's quite overwhelming, to be honest. And this is just part two. I've got another part. Uh, in the third part, I'm going to show you all the, or a lot of the proof sets. So I had bought, with this collection, a whole box, like a tote of proofs. Uh, a lot of silver and uncirculated. Uh, nothing crazy old, but... I'll save that for part three, so just make sure y'all hang around and stay tuned. I'm going to try to do these videos pretty fast uh, as I can, so hopefully in the next couple nights I can get this uploaded and get the other one recorded and uploaded, because I, I work all day, and, and we actually went out uh, and worked in the garden today, because like I said, it's uh, April 9th now, it's 12.07. So we worked all afternoon on the garden, and then I got in 
and done some other stuff and now made time to do this video so i really appreciate you all watching and liking and commenting and i love interacting with everybody in the comments so uh don't be afraid to comment that's what i like i like this community coin community people talking and uh, uh and trying to bring up different topics i really enjoy that and appreciate you all watching uh, I'll show you this last little box and then I'll let y'all go. Uh, this is full of wheat pennies. And I think some of them are earlier 30s. I went through a couple of them. And he's got 1936 on that one. Uh, 19, 1919 on that one. Let's see if there's any earlier ones. And I'll open... 34s. Try to find the earliest ones. So, this 1919 is the earliest ones I've seen. So, let's crack it out. Let's open those. But, yeah, this whole thing was wheat pennies. And that is going to be, I've got so many wheat pennies to go through. I've got like two bags of wheat pennies to go through. Um, I went through some of them, and I'll try to do another video. That I just got so many videos I want to do, uh, and they take time. So I've got plenty of videos for you. Uh, and this one, like I said, it says like an arrow, 1919. So I'm hoping it means through 1919. So it might be some earlier wheat pennies. Now this first one. Is 1944, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> and there will be no way I can get that back in that sleeve. Uh, and I've got to bring it a little closer to me to see. 51, 50, 54, 55s. And then the wheat pennies, the 55s are good years to look for. The double die, 44. A lot of 44s, 45s, and 56, 44, 44. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. It was a disappointment. It's not really a disappointment, but it wasn't what was said was in there, which I was hoping there were some earlier ones. But it's okay. I enjoy it anyways. There's a 55, but it doesn't look like a double die. I'm trying to look at it. I think I looked at the sun too long today. The solar eclipse came uh, in Kentucky, eastern Kentucky. You could see the solar solar eclipse really good today, so. I did have goggles or glasses on the the glasses you could buy, and they were the good ones. If you've seen on the news, they had like a big like recall or not not really recall, but they was telling you not to use the ones you got from the library. And apparently, a lot of people got really bad uh, glasses, so hopefully you didn't get the bad glasses and stared at the sun for 15, 20 minutes. So. I can still see good, so I guess my glasses were good, which I ordered mine from a very uh, reputable source, and they verified them and all that. So if I wake up blind tomorrow, I know it was not a good choice, but it was really cool. I got to watch it with my family, and... We really enjoyed it. It didn't get as dark. Like, we had almost a complete, like, there was just a little bit. but And it didn't get as dark as I thought it was going to. But it get it did get pretty dark, but not completely, of course. There's a 1919. So, but it was a fun day. Something we may not see for another, I believe it was like 20 years. 2044 and 2045 so 
it was neat hope you all enjoyed it and uh didn't stare at the sun for an hour uh so i've got a lot of these to go through uh, i appreciate y'all watching and bearing with me and i try to be as entertaining as possible but i really just love doing this i've got a lot to go through i'm going to look for some of those double dies and i really don't even know how to do these because i've got a couple albums i'm trying to work on um I may put a few albums together and I may be doing going to a coin show later in the year and I'll probably hold on to a majority of this to try to sell there at a coin show uh, I may put some uh, albums together and uh, sell them as a whole because I've got a lot of coins here to go through and it is going to take forever but that's what I like. So that really wraps up video number two. Uh, if there's anything y'all want to see or me go back over, just let me know in the comments. I can uh, do a video of it. I know y'all like uh, coin row hunting, so I need to do I, I need to do a coin row hunt of all of this, and I may try to do that. Uh, right now I really just don't have time I mean here it is 12 o'clock at night and I've got to get up for work in the morning so I'll do the best I can and if there's anything you really want to see just let me know in the comments I, I'd like to do a coin roll hunt of all of these uh, but it's, it's going to be a long video and uh, it's going to take forever so if you want to see it I'll do it I'll try to make it happen and uh and these we can try to do a couple different videos because that's that's what i want to do on this this channel is just try to keep you all entertained educate you a little bit and just show you what i love doing and hopefully it brings you some joy it's really cool uh listening to y'all's comments or reading them and i guess saying them in my head and listening to them in my head but I know one guy said he would bake cook he baked cookies while he's listening to me. That was really cool. Um, I know a couple people said they just watch my video uh, while they're at the house hanging out. Uh, I really appreciate everybody and subscribing and uh, like I said, when I hit a thousand, hopefully I do. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hit a, a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. So I've got about. 20 20 some days to do that 21 days uh, so I'm trying to make that happen and like I said when I hit uh, a thousand I'm gonna do a giveaway I'll try to give away like a, a grab bag of assortment of stuff that'll be that'll be silver and wheat pennies and maybe just some of this stuff because uh, I really want to show my appreciation appreciation to you all uh, y'all have been awesome and I just love doing this and there's nothing better that I would love doing than just these videos all the time and uh, cause y'all everybody wants to do what they love and this is what I love so I really appreciate it and I, I can't say it enough thank you all please like share and subscribe let me know what you thought about the video and how you want me to put this together uh, let me do some coin row searches because I've got a lot here to do, and this is just half of it. Uh, and I'll bring you back for part three. Uh, hopefully in the next night or two, I'll get it uploaded. So again, thank you all so much. Have a good night, and happy collecting.